What's up ADHD crew, welcome back. Today's topic is gonna to be all about ADHD and irritability. I don't know about you guys, but my emotionality as an ADHD guy has caused me to be quite irritable. And it's not always a hallmark trait, but ADHD classically means that a person has a harder time regulating their emotions just because of the way the brain is wired. So that is obviously going to translate to being more likely to be irritable. It can cause you to fall out with people, loved ones, it can cause you to lose your job. You know, so it's something you have to really be careful about because it can cause you major issues in your life if you don't control it effectively. And what you're going to notice is if you start to take a stimulant medication, you're probably likely to experience some irritability and increased anxiety, right? This is extremely common, so I know how rough it can be, so don't worry, you're not alone. It's it's completely normal to feel some irritability on these medications, okay? So with that said, if you're experiencing irritability on these medications, the first course of action is to obviously speak to your doctor, okay? So that would mean just tell them all your symptoms, what you're experiencing, what your concerns are about the way you feel when you're taking the medication, and they'll advise you of what steps you can take. So they can either reduce the dose for you, which is often the common cause of irritability. If you're starting on, on something that's a little bit too strong for you, you might want to build your way up to a higher dose to begin with. But typically they do prescribe you with the lowest dose. So if you are on the lowest dose, they might prescribe you something else. So if you're experiencing anxiety, they might prescribe you an anti-anxiety medication, such as sertraline, something like that, or some kind of antidepressant. Now, a few tips I'm just gonna give you about my experience with irritability and how I have discovered is the best way to reduce the irritability overall. Tip number one, I would say overall, you wanna have a really good nutritious breakfast. If you're taking it first thing in the morning, I assume you're taking it first thing in the morning because that's the way it is for most people. So I would recommend some protein and some slow digesting carbohydrates. This could be something like eggs on whole wheat toast. That's one of my favorites. Or you could have porridge oats. That's also a really good slow digesting carbohydrate. And just anything really, any source of protein that you prefer, just focus on the quality of the nutrition and it should help to slow down the release of the chemical in your body. Because what I found is when you have medication on an empty stomach, the side effects really do get maximized. It really gets turned up a notch, you know. So I find from experience, you're going to want to have a very filling breakfast. Now sometimes you can't always get away from feeling irritable, right? So say like, for instance, you're at work or in a social setting, you're kind of stuck, right? So if you're in the come up of your medication or you're just feeling irritable in general, it can be quite overwhelming, right? The problem with irritability is that it's usually overstimulation that exacerbates it and makes it worse and causes it in the first place. So one thing that you could possibly do to reduce the irritability is stay hydrated, have a snack, take some paracetamol, painkillers, whatever, take some deep breaths. It sounds pretty cliche and pretty obvious, but honestly, if you just take a moment to reflect, just have a time out. You can usually reduce the feeling of irritability and stress if you just focus on relaxing. Just do what you can, that's what I'm saying. If you need a time out, I recommend that you actually remove yourself from the environment that you're currently in to a quiet area. Have a lie down, have a sit down somewhere quiet, even if it's just for five minutes, just to focus on reflecting and breathing. Another thing I suggest is perhaps start drinking chamomile tea. Chamomile tea is one of my favorite drinks. It doesn't taste all that great, but I find that it does a really good job and it makes me feel pretty relaxed. And there's always other options for supplements. You can go to your local health store to find stress relieving natural supplements. The next step I, I would say is you wanna monitor your overall lifestyle, okay? So I did touch upon the diet. So you wanna make sure you're eating quality whole foods and cut out, you know, the sugar, the processed stuff. I mean, that's, that's a no brainer, right? But oftentimes irritability is exacerbated by being restless, right? So you feel like you've, you just, you've got ants in your pants, you wanna do something, and it's just pissing you off, you know? So this is why I say that physical exercise or physical activity of any kind is super important, okay? So I like to go out and get some fresh air, just going for a walk, and I think it's very good to clear the head and just to refresh yourself, you know? So if you can, at any time during the day, just head out for a quick walk or just, you know, go outside to reflect and gather your thoughts and calm down. 
Next one is sleep. Now this is very tricky and I will say that medications are notorious for inducing sleep issues. If you've got ADHD you're likely to have sleep issues anyway because your mind is so darn hyperactive that you can't switch off at night. I totally sympathize but this is why I say that if you're going to take medication you need to have a healthy lifestyle and take it early in the morning with a healthy breakfast that is full of protein and slow digesting carbohydrates. That's the best method right? It's all about routine. Once you start habitually doing things every day, you're going to develop a healthy circadian rhythm, which is where your body starts to fall asleep and get tired at the same time every night, and you start to naturally wake up at the same time every day. This is going to reduce irritability, I can promise you. Another tip is to avoid caffeine or just reduce it. I have one cup of coffee every morning with my breakfast. And that's my treat. I love my coffee. I don't think I'm ever going to give it up. Some people with ADHD say that they try to avoid it because it just really wrecks havoc with their anxiety. So it's up to you. It's just a trial and error. But I would say there's definitely a limit. With caffeine, it can really bring out the worst in you. It can, it can exacerbate side effects of the medications. So just be aware that caffeine can cause problems. Another thing I like to do when I'm feeling irritable is just watch something funny, even if it's just a funny video on YouTube. Anything just to distract you and get you away from that negative loop cycle in the head. I think this is another part of it is just trying to break that cycle of negative thought because with ADHD we tend to ruminate and we get trapped in this toxic cycle of repetitive negative thoughts. So it could be your own mind working against you. So if you try to just focus on things that you enjoy, it can just snap you out of it, even if it's just temporary. Sometimes, however, there are situations that you can't get out of very easily. If you're in a social setting, you're in work, or you're around your partner, your family, whatever. Sometimes you've just got to stick with the situation you're in and you can't really switch off your irritability. If you're in this position and you're feeling like you're going to snap at any moment, what I suggest is that you just kindly and lovingly tell the person, hey, you know what, right now I'm feeling really crap. My medication is just making me feel anxious and irritable. So if I seem snappy, I apologize. It's not personal. It's just, I just feel on edge. I hope you understand. And then just excuse yourself and say, you know what, I just need to step outside for five minutes just to chill and gather my thoughts. At least if you do this, you're being respectable and polite. And usually people will just be understanding, but concerned about you. So the best thing to do is just address the fact that you're feeling really irritable and you just need to let people know that it's not personal so that you don't cause further problems. Because if you cause further problems from your behavior, your reactions, you're just going to cause a lot of drama. And in turn, you're gonna just raise your irritability, right? It's a losing strategy. So just to recap overall, if you're experiencing irritability, look at your medications, look at how it's making you feel, talk to your doctor, negotiate perhaps trying a different medication or adding in an additional medication to counteract the anxiety and irritability. And just go from there, it's all trial and error. Aside from that, it's all about healthy lifestyle, doing things that are enjoyable and just cutting out unnecessary bullshit out of your life so that you can have an overall easier life, right? If there's things in your life that you're just unnecessarily putting up with and you can get rid of it, if you have the power to get rid of it, do it. Obviously, there's some things that we can't control, right? There's always going to be things that we can't control. It's up to you to make the changes, right? Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helped and please subscribe if you haven't already and share the video to someone that you think could benefit from it. And thank you again. I'll see you next time.